Hello world and welcome back, it's your boy X33 Or Zapta And here we are back playing some more Hogwarts Legacy <coughs> Excuse me um, We have a single spell point to use So I'm gonna buy that one. Then I think I'll use the rest of my points in my rune of requirement. Um, let's go talk to Neve. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? There we go, ray tracing's on, yay! That must be the pedestal. That is the pedestal, however... This is the pensieve. That Harry and Dumbledore look through to... find most of the Horcruxes, actually. Receipt, hair tonic, moustache wax... Bundimum, Bundimum pomade, comb, pearl handled, black back scratcher, gold handled, docks aside, paid in very small part, remainder to be billed to the ministry. <laughs> what an absolute twat. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. What the fuck is Neve? You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to In find this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. wants us to make our way through hmm. spooky Really digging this comic book light. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. This comic book light. This is my job. Well. Coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. I see. 
The staircase straight ahead. I barely see that staircase. Ah. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Run. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. I didn't even realize that he turned to look at me. This way, but more dangerous. Must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Please don't come this way, please don't come this way, please don't come this way. Now's my chance! Baby, I think I'm invisible. For the youngest brother, who wished to only be welcomed by death when he so chose. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is probably going to be about the Deathly Hallows, 100%. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve?
but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander yeah, its extraordinary power. So we hold two of the three Deathly Hallows. Now we just need the Resurrection Stone given to the Definitely gonna need to make some more of at some point. Hmm. Where are you taking us, Steve? Where are you taking us?
Resurrection Stone. It's a nymph. Stone. You think that's a simple stone? Fool. To be fair, he knows nothing really. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Come on. <laughs> Neve, why? We won't be the same without her. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Yo. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. This is cool. Remember that as you witness my memory.
Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Onia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. In. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. She knows not what she's talking about, but... She's young. Someone completed the first three trials. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. It was a little disturbing. I yeah. found it disturbing. How did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. Oh my I god. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. You three should have It seems we have no choice away. but to wait, frustrating as it is. <clears throat> I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Logcock soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Hmm. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. 
I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. Huh? We ordered Deathly Hallows. We ordered all four, three of them, four of them. Hmm. You guys want to be like that? I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Excuse me, Professor Weasley. How dare you send me a post with no... Not actual mail. Hello, please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for some way you can focus your stuff. Oh. No. Ah, Deke tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get a chance. He has an idea for you. I thought worth exploring. Okay. Obviously. Where's the place we're going? to the room of requirement um no I saw a mission pop up on the map I've been through all this we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many Goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. <laughs> but history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my it's constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. This unassuming smug is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombardo. I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever cast it didn't live. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh. That wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly, some are talented artisans, such as Bragbore the Boastful. Did you say Bragbore? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. 
Okay. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Revelio. Curious students can find him on display. No, this is... Students introduce themselves to this hero of books. He was like literally me, but the skull of fame Taylor Grimble weft. His skills need work repaired countless witches and wizards with robe coats during the Goblin Rebellion of 1752, thus preventing them from taking ill in battle. Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. <laughs> so this is just Standing gonna be a troll. Standing in eternal but Rebellion. symbolic watch over the bell tower is it's a really retinue of okay, loyal so. knights. Or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen eyes. Hmm. Nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. Where his warm and approachable Revelio celebrated by old friends and Luke. Scorch marks allegedly the location of the first known instance of an arguably successful casting of Bombarda. Date unknown, caster identifiable. That's above somewhere. Who are you? What I wouldn't give to be back on a broom right now. Oh, it's a motor. Rebellion. Hogwarts contains no Narthexes, since obviously those would not be found in castles. I'm in the quest area, I don't... In all the centuries that Hogwarts has existed, not once has it collapsed. Sir Afpuddle, Rebellion. this is a centuries old likeness of Pangadon. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study companion. I can hear it. I can't see it. Hogwarts is impervious to It's on my right here somewhere. Oh, there he is. This set of armor belonged to Sir Aff Puddle, the cheerful countenance. A legendary friendly knight who supposedly won every battle before it was fought by virtue of his amicable negotiating tactics. Some attribute his success to an overly potent cheering charm he cast upon himself. There's nothing quite so magical as Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Affapuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Affapuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. 
Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Hmm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. What's up, Ominous? History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Unsure. Um, quests. Let's go speak to Natty. Surely she'll be nearby. No, she wasn't. We'll just, you know, quickly fly up to her and go talk to her for a second. Then we'll talk to Deke about getting this I've phoenix. Said that travel broadens the mind. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors, and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he of all people would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. Yeah, and once he now. is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. Oh, yeah. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. 
You deserve all of the praise you have received. Thank you. Uh, so we're just going to have to fast travel back up to the trophy room. Off on another mm. adventure, are we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should be enough to go around and pick up all the chests we need to pick up. Darling sister, delighted to receive your recent owl. Sounds as if you are as usual rising to the challenge presented by not only the students but also a certain headmaster. Your patience knows no bounds. Speaking of patience, thank you for all that you've done for Gareth. Your instincts are sharp indeed. A delicate balance of discipline and creative encouragement is all he needs. I confess I'm glad that his fellow students have replaced his own family when it comes to trying out his latest bruise. Marvelous how he spins it. You're the first lucky ones. Never mentions the possibility of untowards reactions. Well, I must be off. Apologies for the short note. It seems the youngest has got herself into a bit of a predicament. Toss, <laughs> toss the garden gnome into the neighbor's driggable plums again. Anyway, hope to see you at the holidays. Sending my love, G. Oh, of course, his name would be Gareth Weasley Senior. Right, so not only can we, yeah, I was gonna say that should be open from now on. This. That is the coolest lock in all of the game. I ain't even gonna lie, that was that was off its head. Let's box. Oh yeah, Ron's um Ron's your wall dress from Um Goblet of Fire? I wanna say? Yeah, Goblet of Fire. Revelio Full of it. Acceptance and Book of Admittance. The Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance were placed here by the founders and have not been touched since. They record the name of every prospective Hogwarts student the moment they first show signs of magic. Although the Quill is more lenient than the book, which will sometimes snap shut before a name is written if the evidence of magic is not dramatic enough. So, this book would have seen us develop magic late, hence the reason why we got our, 
uh, acceptance letter in Hogwarts Rebellion. during the fifth year. It's not that we're a transfer student from another magical school. We're literally a muggle student learning magic from the fifth year onward. Yeah, that's done, so we can go and fast travel directly sh to the room. So identify the gear. Please tell me these are living well. No, they're not. Uh, quickly pump the shield that you. All right, what you want, Deke? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix, a phoenix nest. nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue well, I'd it. I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Agreed. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Sure. Where it at? Old map. And of course, it's all the way to the south. That's fine. Because we go there. Hopefully. Won't cause us too much hassle. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I really hate that one saying. Ah, nothing clears me. Let me I literally stepped outside and was right in the air a second later. No! I've used unforgivable curses on occasion. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not looking to be human to worry about should still be out of um cast protego while you're flying revelio well, you guys are so far away just go away yes i know hello for more Rain's done, which means red needs done. Good for you. There's gonna be goddamn spiders in here, I already know it. Um. No flying. Wingardium Leviosa. Bombarder. That's one. And it's on the toilet. Righto. Phoenix we're about to go save. Revelio. Ah. Confrigo. And the last 
last one should be up here on the roof. Seems the coward fled. Are you guys made it all the way here? Are you serious? Idiots. Oh. that voice line too because we all know that Professor Fig can't actually see traces of ancient magic so it just seems like that was not worth paying the guy and all the woman to uh, <laughs> say those lines Mountain Cave. Blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Rebellion. Get down. Oh, yo, spiders. Kundringo. Bombarder. That was the way we went to go anyway. So you gotta go deeper into the cave to find... Alright, give me a second. Oh wow. Why? So you're all up you get 40 slots. I've got three of the same mask. All in different... That's kind of creepy. Um, all in different variations. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't do them all. <coughs> Change appearance. Just check out some one handles. No. So we only got three one handles to actually find. That's cool. Alright. That way I'll be able to take whatever's in this. But. That seems to go deeper into the cave. Does this I feel will stop? Could the phoenix be in there? Confrido. Huh. What? 
Show me some dark magic, are you? Want me to address it? You have red bow no. rhino. The beasts around here can that's think a, a bit easier. Confringo. That's a reference to something. It's a old video game. Is it a spiral? I think it might be Spyro. Rebellion. Confringo. I'm gonna have to look that up. So that's gonna annoy me. Explosive barrel with rhino on it. With a rhino on it, I should say. How many are there? Somebody! I won't go down this easy! Somebody come get him. Levioso! Levioso! Confringo! Time to get that. Levioso! You who are in the cold and snitch! Levioso! Oh, Confringo! Descender! Oh, snitch. Oh, I've got a gate key. Nice. I just gotta get... I think that said one more dueling feat to unlock the next set of challenges. So let's go! Oh yeah, that's the one time you can use a Lohamora and it- Oh wait, no, we had a key. The oh, Phoenix! Never mind. <gasps> Be too easy, yeah, I was, I was gonna it say it's not- It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Okay. This kid. Bombarder. Confringo. Descend. Alohomora. Red. There it is again. Confringo. Oh. Unidentified neck item. Tunnel there, then. You're not gonna give me treasure. Strange.
You never know if it's the right way if you haven't gone the wrong way. For high wing. One less poacher in the Good world. Good for you. Oh. Press to put up around the room of requirement. No, I don't need any more. Oh, that's so much as it is. <coughs> Bombarda! Somewhere safe. Place yourself. I was just sitting there. He wants to come with me. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. So, if that's that, oh, right, I still gotta get, um,. Really cool if you get it, could get a thunderbird. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Now straight back to the room. Not even gonna mess around. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. <laughs> Safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Close. Uh, I should have let Deke have it.
Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Yo, let's go check it out, Balcony, before we sign off. Oh, dude, this is cool. Plus one talent point. Oh, I don't even have to do a castle scene here because there's already one here. Rebellion. Where are you, little friend? I just want to... Ashwinder eggs... Oh, we now have stone walls. What the Southern Highland, yeah. Yeah. If we go over that bridge, there'll be something up there. This is a really nice area. Here you go, bud. You eat up now. Do have that nasal as well. Where's my shiny door for? There it is. Okay, shiny door for the shop. Door for. Shiny nasal. Um, also, gonna collect my fellow. I'll catch you soon, folks. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been your boy X33 or Zapda. And um, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, or refer to a friend. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.